is astrology killing you astrology is destroying you is astrology ending everything are you more pessimistic have you become a very anxious person after watching astrology videos every single day every single hour every single minute you are reading articles you are astrology is all over your consciousness well if four or five of these things among the 10 signs are happening then you need to take a break from astrology okay astrology is meant to help you but if all these things are happening or even if half of these are happening then it's doing exactly the opposite okay so 10 ways to destroy your life with astrology number one you wait for a good dasha to come <laughs> you do not take any responsibility you always wait oh yes i am in my rahu dasha so what happened my guru dasha is coming right oh after how many years after 17 years <laughs> so what do i do in these 17 years i do nothing because i can't do anything because it's rahu and rahu is a bad planet so rahu is gonna screw me up big time so what can I do? Just let it go. Just let 17 years of my life pass. All right. So if you have this attitude that currently you have a bad dasha and someday a good dasha will come and magically my life will change. Well, then you need to stop learning astrology, watching astrology videos because see, dashas are very important they can give you opportunities externally or they can take away things from you okay that that's perfectly fine but dashas cannot be a replacement of your overall chart which means if your overall chart is indicating that you do not take responsibility then what happens is even if a good dasha comes you get a new job for example but then you don't perform and you lose that job so the same thing happens but after getting something good okay so eventually everything evens out irrespective of any dasha so the overall chart matters so which means you as a person is very important so therefore there's nothing wrong in waiting for a good dasha but if you're only waiting for a good dasha to come and you are just letting everything just go then no that's not the right attitude and if you continue to have this attitude then you have to stop astrology. Okay. Number two, this is classic. As I say always, <laughs> which means I am very good. I am the best. I am the most amazing, uh, fantabulous creature to have ever lived or that God can ever create. But the only problem is in my horoscope and that's why I'm suffering. Okay. So you blame planets and you do not take responsibility for your own karma. So planets in your horoscope, they reflect your existing old original karma. They don't show anything new. They don't show the planets don't tell you anything that you don't know already. The planets tell you that which you know deep down inside already. Oh, but what do we do? We say, oh, yeah, it's Saturn after all. Oh, yeah, it's Rahu. Oh, yeah, it's Ketu after all. You know, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Malefics. Ah, mera kya hoga, behen? Bhai, kya hoga? Sab khatam. Sab khatam, right? <clears throat> so if that's your attitude, then it's problematic because you don't know what exactly the planets represent, okay? Number three, you use it for external events only and you don't use it for spiritual progress. Okay, Now, astrology cannot directly give you spiritual progress. It can, but in 99% of the cases, uh, it does not. But the problem is, astrology is like an in indicative science where you know how your material life will be. Okay, so how will be your profession for the next 30, 40 years? How will be your married life? How will be uh, when you will have children, when you can buy a house, when you can buy a car, when you can do certain things, okay? And there's nothing wrong in uh, 
getting to know when there will be external events. Nothing wrong with it. On the bad side also, flip side, like accidents, uh, like, you know, job loss and all this. But if you disassociate that with the ultimate goal of Jyotish, which is to take you to God. Now, how does astrology take you to God? It does not do it directly. What it does is it tells you, okay, these, these are your material uh, assets, your resources. These are events which could happen. These are things which you can expect. And these are things which you should not expect. So now, after knowing all this, you try to focus on God. Okay, you, you settle all these things. You manage well because now you already know what's coming. So then now you can focus on your spiritual life better. Okay, every shloka, every, every holy book is designed to make you more spiritual. Okay, at least in the Vedic context, it is. It may have a lot of materialistic things, but the end goal is to give you spiritual progress. Okay, but you don't do it. You... You, you you think astrology is only to predict life events and then that's like a disaster. So you'll get into depression because why? There are bad events also in life which will come, okay? Apart from good events. Good events are mostly very few. Like in my experience, I have seen after looking at horoscopes for many, many, many years, I have seen hardly there are one or two good events in a person's life. And... Uh, there are more than dozen bad events in a person's life. Okay, you ju just see last year, last two years, how many good things you had and how many bad things you had, right? So that keeps giving you depression, okay? Because every year almost the same thing happens unless you have an extraordinary good dasha or a very bad dasha, okay? Number four, you, you watch different videos, articles, podcasts, you do everything but you don't get a mentor this is this is huge this is very 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 problematic so i don't care where you are learning astrology from which which tradition is it which youtuber or which uh, which institute you are learning from okay that that is important but that is just 20 30% or maybe 40% of the picture the remaining 50 60 70% is the one-to-one -one personal guidance that you can get from a mentor. So please try to find a mentor in your city, preferably, unless you are staying in some village or, you know, you are staying in some remote place. You are, you are in Antarctica and you can, can find somebody. So even if you are in a very remote place, you need to find some online mentor. Now, you don't have to do this on day one. But if you have spent at least two to three years in astrology, learning astrology from somewhere, either random from YouTube, uh, haphazardly, or specifically from some astrologer, then also try to get some mentorship from that astrologer or some of his or her uh, senior uh, students, okay? Because that astrologer may be very busy and may not be able to give you one-to-one -one time, but some of, uh, so, so, so suppose there's a student who is here five years before you. So then you can take guidance from that student. Okay, so that's very important. Otherwise, you will just get information and shlokas, sutras, techniques, you know. You, you can't actually predict, okay. If, if you don't have a mentor, you can, but it's very difficult and it may take you 10 years, okay. So what a mentor can teach you in... Three months is more than what you can learn in five to ten years. And this is very, very, very critical. Okay, so if you don't have a mentor now, it's fine. But try to find one. Okay, at least try. Even after trying, you don't find then that's okay. But try. Number five, you do not do any spiritual practices along with the study of astrology. Then what happens is, Again, the same principle applies. You get into depression because you will see all the negative things because material world is a place of misery. 99% of the things you see in your horoscope will be negative. It will be bad. It will be pessimistic. It will be filled with poison. Some plant is afflicted. Some plant is debilitated. Some plant is kamba. Some plant is in dustan. Some plant is lording a dustana. Some plant is in dikshunya. You will you will find 99% of planets are badly placed or other 99.9% .9 <laughs> 
you see your divisional charts, no oh, scary placements. One planet exalted in D9, debilitated in the D10. What the heck is this, you know? <laughs> so if you don't do spiritual practices, then what happens is you cannot digest this because astrology can be like a siddhi. If you go very high in your spiritual maturity, it can become like a siddhi. You might develop vak siddhi, which means you say something and it's uh, it, it happens, okay? <clears throat> but if you don't do spiritual practices, what happens is you you get consumed by all this crap okay, that you see in the chart. And of course, in the lives of other people when you see their charts and you get their curses and huh, needless to say, right? <clears throat> Number six, you just focus on dashas and transits and do not analyze the overall chart, right? Which means... You, you keep changing. Okay, today this transit is here. This will happen. Tomorrow that dasha is there. This will happen. But my dear sir, my dear madam, who are you? Have you found that from the chart? Who are you? Can you answer that question? If you can't answer, then what happens is you don't know who you are. You don't know what you should do. You don't know what you want in life. Then you... You just keep hovering. Okay, today good dasha, bad dasha. Good, bad, 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 good, bad. Okay, you keep doing that always. Oh, this transit, is it good for me? Is it bad for me? Is it good for me? Is it bad for me? Okay. So then what happens is you you remain the same. You study astrology for five years, but you don't grow as a person. You There's zero maturity and maybe it's going downhill. It's actually getting worse. Okay. <laughs> so first understand yourself or analyze the overall chart okay do not dismiss the chart after that you read your dashas and after that you read transits but people do the opposite they will see transits then dashas then the chart so and then in six months they conclude astrology does not work all astrologers are scammers okay all right number seven Astrology uses you rather than you using astrology. <laughs> what, what is this? How can astrology use us? You know? So <clears throat> what happens is, uh, see, when I say you use astrology, it means, okay, you want to do something good. You know, you uh, see when is a uh, sthira nakshatra coming, you know, like you have some long-term plan. You want to form your company or you want to get married or you want to do Griya Pravesh. So then you do it on a sthira nakshatra, okay, like Rohini or Uttar Falguni, for example. So that's fine. That is like you are using it or you, you have a childbirth, you are doing namkaran, okay, you want to see a good muhurta for your marriage. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. So you are using astrology. But if every day morning you are seeing astrology videos and you are uh, thinking, oh, today this is there, that will happen, what can I do? Oh, anyways, Mars, Saturn is going on. So, so it's like astrology is dictating what, what you are doing in your life, okay? And you don't take responsibility. So then what happens is, Anything and everything that happens in your life, you start to see that from the lens of astrology. Oh, today something bad happened because I did something stupid. But no, it was not me. It was the planets. Oh, yeah, actually Mercury was retrograde. So how can I not do some mistake, right? So that's utterly stupid. Number eight. You only follow negative information. This is classic. 99% of the content in YouTube about astrology is negative content. Okay. Articles, calendars, newspapers, newsletters, every, everything that you see, most of them, 95% at least, if not 99, is negative content, which means it focuses on some deficiency within you. Or some bad event. And in a way it is also sensible. Because most of the things are. Most of the things you have in your life. They are always in in trouble. Most of the things. Okay. Either your marriage is problematic. Your career is problematic. Or your health is problematic. Especially if you are watching astrology videos. Or you are into astrology. Then you most likely it is very. Uh, it's probable that you have some serious problem in your life. Otherwise, you 
you may not learn astrology i mean you may be somebody exceptional who uses it to know yourself but initially everybody most of the people they come to astrology because of some problem and that that is like a very uh, that's like a that's like the thing which people don't want to accept but that's uh, hard facts okay so if you keep following negative information only then what happens is you de start developing pessimism in other areas of life okay so if you if this is happening to you you seriously need to take a break or you follow people who also speak positive things okay now positive does not mean sugar for the negative side but positive means when there is a bad situation how does an astrologer show you the show you how to be positive in a bad situation okay how to have a good state of mind how to uh, have a good attitude then that is like positive even though the event is negative okay so very 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 important number nine you have lost the ability to be a normal human being and you judge everything and everyone on the basis of astrology oh his son is in debility he is a useless leader oh his son is exalted he is very arrogant he is very egoistic okay so there is a normal human connection which is essential okay so the the that connection if you lose then astrology becomes like a gun basically okay oh sun exalted egoistic Tshaw. oh venus is exalted must be characterless Tshaw. okay <laughs> so i mean so many people can have exalted or debilitated planets because does it mean they are uh, egoistic or they are like useless or they are characterless or they are scammers okay it doesn't mean that so astrology can give you some indications but then there are a lot of things in astrology just you see one placement and you place a judgment on somebody okay so that's terrible and people will start disliking you and they will dislike astrology and other astrologers all right number 10 you have decision uh, paralysis and fatigue because of daily horoscope sign predictions Oh, I am Aries, I am Taurus, this will happen today, every day morning, okay, this will happen, that will happen, oh my god, ye hoga, wo hoga, ye bhi nahi hua, wo bhi nahi hua, oh, this didn't happen, that didn't happen, tomorrow it may happen, yesterday it happened, why not today, okay, so, if you want to completely become handicapped, just do one thing, watch daily astrology uh, sign based prediction videos which are anyways useless they don't work most of the times they don't work i mean see it can work in a way that it can give you some idea about where you can focus but if if there is an article or a video which is telling you that you are aries or taurus this will happen to you then that's false because <clears throat> there are so many uh one twelfth of the population of the world half a billion will be aries so does it mean everybody so suppose to i say tomorrow for aries you will have a uh, fight with your boss so do you think half a billion people in the world will fight with their boss okay that's unrealistic right but you have decision fatigue because you are watching this all the time and uh, there's nothing else that you think you can do yourself all right so if you have these 10 signs then it's time to take a break and take a men have a mentor and see positive uh, videos on astrology and try to understand that astrology is just like another tool i can use it but i should not be consumed astrology should not be like a fire which burns me okay Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him like he's sitting behind. Thank you.